top 10 Korean movies on Netflix that you absolutely can't miss. Whether you're a seasoned Korean drama fan or just diving in, these films are the cream of the crop. So grab your popcorn, settle in, and let's explore the captivating world of this Korean movies. Number 10. Love and Leashes. The film introduces us to Young Ji Hu, a seemingly perfect high achiever whose life takes an unexpected turn when a quirky twist involving a misplaced package reveals his hidden desires. The chemistry between Young Ji Hu and his unsuspecting co worker, Young Ji Wu, is the heart and soul of the movie. Their journey from professional colleagues to unexpected partners in a BDSM relationship is portrayed with charm and wit. The film cleverly navigates the complexities of their differing personalities and tastes, creating a refreshing and provocative narrative that'll keep you hooked. What sets Love and Leashes apart is its ability to balance the unconventional with the heartwarming. The storyline is both cheeky and endearing making it a unique exploration of love and self-discovery. The charismatic performances of the lead actors add an extra layer of authenticity, making this Korean gem a must-watch for anyone seeking a romantic comedy that pushes boundaries and leaves a lasting impression. Number 9. 20th Century Girl, a romantic comedy that takes place in the late 1990s in South Korea. The movie follows the lives of four high school students who are involved in a complicated love triangle. Bo Ra, a loyal and cheerful girl, is asked by her best friend Yeon Do, who has a heart condition and moves to the US for surgery, to spy on her crush Hyun Jin, a popular and mischievous boy. Bo Ra agrees to help her friend, but soon falls in love with Hyun Jin's best friend Woon Ho, a kind and thoughtful boy who also likes Bo Ra. However, things get messy when Yeon Do returns and reveals that her crush is actually Woon Ho, not Hyun Jin. The movie captures the atmosphere and culture of the late 90s, with references to VHS tapes, pagers, and K-pop songs. It also has a bittersweet tone, as it shows how the characters deal with their feelings, misunderstandings, and choices. Hello. Number 8. Sweet and Sour, another rom-com movie that explores the ups and downs of modern relationships, especially long-distance ones. It follows three young people, Jang Hyuk, a civil engineer who gets a job in Seoul, Da Yoon, his girlfriend who works as a nurse in Jeju Island, and Bo Young, his co-worker who develops feelings for him. The movie has a clever twist that reveals the true nature of their relationships and challenges the viewer's perception of love and loyalty. The actors portray their characters with realism and emotion, making the audience empathize with their struggles and dilemmas. The cinematography captures the contrast between the urban and rural settings, as well as the changing seasons and moods of the characters. The movie is not perfect, as it suffers from the uneven pacing, predictable, and cliché plot, and some viewers might find it to be misogynistic or immoral depending on their interpretation of the twist. It is a movie that you might want to watch, but not to re-watch. <laughs> Number 7. Miracle. Letters to the President. A heartwarming film based on a true story of a math genius who tries to get a train station for his remote village by writing letters to the president. The film stars Park Young-min as Jun Kyung, a brilliant but socially awkward student who has a passion for numbers and a dream of improving the lives of his fellow villagers. He is supported by his sister Bo Kyung, his love interest Ra Hee, and his train driver Father Tae Yoon. The movie boasts a strong cast, especially Lee Sung-min, who delivers a powerful performance as the distant and strict father who eventually reconciles with his son. It also showcases the beautiful scenery of the rural Gyeongsang province, as well as the authentic dialect and culture of the region. It has a feel-good vibe and a happy ending, as it celebrates the miracle of human spirit and the power of hope. This is a film that deserves all the praise and recognition it has received, including six nominations at the Blue Dragon Awards. Number 6. Kill Bok Soon. 
follows the life of a legendary assassin and a single mother, Gil Boksoon, who tries to balance her professional and personal roles. The movie showcases Boksoon's skills and charisma as she takes on various missions for a powerful agency, but also her struggles and vulnerabilities as she faces the challenges of raising a rebellious teenage daughter, Gil J. Young. Full of stylish and intense fight scenes that will keep you on the edge of your seat, as well as some humorous and touching moments that will make you laugh and cry. It also explores the themes of loyalty, family, and identity, as Bok Soon and Jae Yong have to deal with their complicated relationship and the consequences of their choices. A movie that will appeal to fans of action, drama, and comedy genres, as well as anyone who enjoys a good story with strong characters and a lot of emotion and sincerity. <laughs> Number 5. Night in Paradise Tells the story of Taegu, a hitman who goes into hiding on Jeju Island after a brutal revenge, and Jae Yeon, a terminally ill woman who befriends him. The movie is directed by Park Hoon Jung, who is known for his stylish and violent crime thrillers. The movie has many strengths, such as the stunning cinematography, the gripping performances, the unpredictable plot twists, and the thematic exploration of life and death. It showcases the beauty and brutality of Jeju Island, from its scenic landscapes to its underground arms trade. The movie also has a surprising amount of humor and heart, as Taegu and Jae Yeon develop a bond over their shared fate and their love for spicy raw fish soup. It balances the tension and the tenderness as the two characters find some solace and joy in each other's company. Number 4. Unlocked. Follows Nami, a young woman who loses her smartphone and becomes the target of a ruthless stalker who hacks into her life and torments her with his twisted games. The stalker, Jun Yong, is a brilliant but disturbed hacker who uses Nami's phone to spy on her, manipulate her, and kill anyone who gets in his way. He also has a connection to a police detective, G-Man, who is investigating a series of murders linked to Jun Yong's activities. Full of suspense, twists, and surprises, as Nami tries to escape from Jun Young's clutches and expose his identity. The movie raises some relevant questions about the security and ethics of digital devices and how much we depend on them. It also has a stylish and sleek cinematography that creates a contrast between the bright and colorful scenes of Nami's life and the dark and gloomy scenes of Jun Young's lair. Number 3. Ditto. A Korean remake of the 2000 movie of the same name, which tells the story of two college students who communicate through a radio across 20 years of time difference. The movie is a blend of drama, fantasy, and romance, with a surprising plot twist and a bittersweet ending. It has received positive reviews from critics and audiences who praise the acting, the cinematography, and the emotional impact of the story. Yo Jin Gu, who plays Kim Yong, the male lead from 1999, delivers a flawless performance as he portrays the different stages of falling in love, being jealous, and being heartbroken. Cho Yi Hyun, who plays Moon A, the female lead from 2022, also shows her versatility and charm as she connects with Yang through the radio and helps him with his love life. The chemistry between the two leads is palpable, even though they never meet face to face. It also has a nostalgic and retro vibe, as it features the music and fashion of the late 90s. <laughs> Number 2. Decision to Leave It's about a detective who falls in love with a mysterious woman who may be involved in the death of her husband. The movie has received rave reviews from critics and audiences alike, who praised its stunning cinematography, captivating performances, and clever twists. The movie is divided into two halves, each with its own mystery and perspective, and each with its own surprises and revelations. It is not only a gripping thriller, but also a poignant romance that examines the nature of attraction and attachment. It is beautifully shot, with stunning landscapes and colors that contrast the mood and emotions of the characters. It also features excellent performances from the lead actors, Wei Tang and Park Hae-il, who convey the intensity and vulnerability of their characters. It is a testament to Park Chan-wook's skill as a filmmaker, 
who manages to create a film that is both thrilling and moving, and that leaves a lasting impression on the viewer. Number one, a werewolf boy, tells the story of a forbidden love between a human girl and a werewolf boy. The movie is set in the 1960s when the girl, Kim Sun Yi, moves to a countryside village with her family for her health. There, she meets the boy, Cheol Su, who has been living in the wild as a feral child. Sun Yi decides to teach him how to behave like a human, and they develop a bond that transcends words and species, a beautiful and touching melodrama that explores the themes of innocence, loyalty, and sacrifice. The movie is also a study in contrasts, as it juxtaposes the storybook romance with the harsh reality of society and human nature. It is well acted by the two leads, Park Bo Young and Song Joon Ki, who have a strong chemistry and convey a lot of emotions with their eyes and gestures. It also has a nostalgic and fairy tale like atmosphere, enhanced by the cinematography and the music. And that wraps up today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more fantastic content. Catch you in the next one.